What's up guys? Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Smart Programmer. I hope you all are fine and today I am back with a new video and in this video we are going to discuss about the power function in Python language. So before we discuss on this topic, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel to enjoy the content and uh, hit the bell icon for the more videos and support my channel. So without any further delay, let's jump into the video. So guys, the power function in Python is used when one needs to derive the power of variable x to the power of variable y. So let's first see its syntax. This is the syntax, a very simple uh, syntax, uh, p o w bracket x comma y and then close bracket, which means um, so p o w stands for the power and this is a short form and x is the x variable and y is the y variable. So it can be read as the value of x to the power of y. So now let's jump into the IDE and walk through a few of the examples. So it will make our understanding better. So guys, here we go as we discuss about the syntax. So its syntax is very simple. So now I'm taking a variable a and I am writing here power and x comma y. So I'm writing here two and then typing here three. So which means that the two raised to power three in simple language and so now let's print a and run this and as you can see here so it is giving 8 which is the right answer so uh, let's take another example and give here the negative value so it is giving us minus 8 and that's for sure and now take the two of the negative values so this is the answer for this uh, minus 2 raised to power minus 3 which means and which is equals to minus 0 0.125. So guys now let's move on to another situation. If in particular situation the user includes the third variable. Yes a third variable z into the equation then the power function returns x to the power of y with the modulus z. So yeah, I know you're a little bit confused about it. Modulus is an other name of the remainder. So if we include a third variable uh, over here. So uh, let me take another example B and uh, POW power. And now I'm taking 2 comma 3 comma 2. So which means that 2 raised to power 3 which is equals to 8 and then if 8 is divided by 2 then what will be the remainder or what will be the modulus so it's obvious the remainder or the modulus will be 0 so now let's print it b for now just comment it okay and run it so as you can see here the answer is 0 as we expected now let's change the values over here like 4 comma 5 comma 3 4 is to power 5 and then we are taking the uh, modulus with the help of 3 so the modulus is 1 or the remainder of this value is 1 so this is how we can use the built-in power function uh, and if we want to create a, a user defined function and then we will uh, you know code it manually how to find the power uh, so it can also be possible so um, that's it for today and i hope you like it and enjoy it and if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section below and please do subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon for more videos so bye for now take care and allah hafiz